What's up fellas, it's your girl Emma here and today we have a special, special video. We are here at the pre-classic up at Stanford University. I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys. Um, please don't mind my crazy bad sunburn. <laughs> Definitely got too much sun this week before leaving to Palo Alto, but here we are and it's 75 and sunny for this entire weekend. So I'll probably get even more sunburned. That's besides the point though. I'm super excited for this whole video. It's going to consist of a ton of different interviews with athletes. So let's get straight into the video. Well, hello, my name is Michelle Carter, 2016 Olympic gold medalist for Team USA in women's shot put. Okay. <laughs> I hold the American record indoor and outdoor. Okay. I'm only thrown like 67 feet and some change. You know, this is a little <laughs> bit kind of far. <laughs> if you guys don't know, like this is a huge deal. So you won the Olympics. Yes. What? What are you going to focus on moving forward? Obviously, you've accomplished the biggest speed in basically yeah. track and field. You say you're working on your issues. What are your what are your issues? I mean, you won. I mean, you know, I, you know, sometimes in my head, no, I'm <laughs> uh, no, but um hey, mental me, mental's a big part of it. Mental is a big yeah. part of it. But um for me, I guess it's still partly mental because just because you've done it once before a certain kind of way doesn't mean it's going to happen again exactly. the same way. Yep. So now I was going back to the drawing board. I did end up having surgery. I uh, had a knee injury. So now just kind of regrouping and replanning okay. and refocusing is the major thing. And listening to my body more often. You know, mm -hmm. when you get a little older, <laughs> you know, you have to really uh, focus on your recovery yeah. and how your body is feeling. I can't push it like I used to when I was younger. So just being smart and trying to work smart. Smarter, not always harder. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! People are gonna be so excited to see your face, Jess. Welcome back to the vlog. It's been quite a long time. How are you doing? Like a year probably sometimes. I think so. It might even be more than a year. Yeah, I'm excited. I feel really good. I'm ready to get out there and just give it what I've got and see what that looks like. Yes. People that have uh, that don't know who you are, do you want to like introduce yourself? Like, what are your PRs? Fun facts. Well, I'm. I don't really have any fun facts. I always just revert to I'm Australian. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jess, and I'm Australian. And the 1500 is my favorite event. Um, but I like the 800. I'm not sure I like the 5k, but uh... <laughs> um, you're very good at it, so I guess so, anyway, you might be sentenced to 5k <laughs> in your anyway, future. In like five years, six years. Yeah. Get for the 1500 as long as I can, so. Nice. Yeah. What are your PRs? Um, for the, the for the stats people out there. Um, in the 1500, was at NCA's like three weeks ago. Today, actually, three weeks ago today, I ran 406. And then the 8, 204, so. Hopefully that's gonna come down shortly. And then the 5K, 15, 34. Oof, this is so, so fast. It's kind of cool, I think, um, my dad was sort of saying, he came over to visit me in May, my freshman year, and it was the weekend of the frequenting classes. So we were at regionals, so you went Oh, to okay. And um, I was at home, because I didn't even run outdoors that year. And um, so we watched the frequenting classic, and then like four years later, I, I get to start in my first like That's insane! I'm like at the Prefontaine Classic, so it's just persevere, enjoy it, love it, and make most of it. Alright, Colleen. What's up, girl? Hi. So, what are you expecting tomorrow? What What are well your done. What's your mentality going into it? Um. Well, it kind of all depends on how the race plays out. Right now, they're saying they're having a pacer for 8:45. Okay. 44, which is like you gonna world, follow that? World record pace. Yeah. It's 25 seconds faster than my PR. <laughs> like, cool, cool. Go for the gold, <laughs> baby. <up> there. <laughs> I think there'll be a good pack around like 9:05 to 9:10. Yeah. 12-ish. Like I think there'll be a lot of girls in there who are like ready to run something around there. So nice. I hope to just stick in there and hope the altitude kicks in around five laps and then <laughs> have a strong finish. Yeah, that makes sense. I did sense. have good, like, speedy indoor season, so I hope, I hope he's Yeah, there you go, yeah. You remember how to yeah. do that? <laughs> hey, MS Channel, um, I'm Craig Ingalls. Um, I run track and field, but I'm more known for my stupid haircut, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Business in the front, party in the back, baby. <laughs> a lot more partying than business. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're out here at Stanford at the Prefontaine Classic, doing the Bowerman Mile tomorrow. Okay. Hot. Tell us a little bit about your hairstyle. Obviously, you're you're known for this iconic mullet and stash. How did that come about? I mean, I know the Ole Miss guys back in the day like really loved to rock it. Just trying to pull chicks. I don't know. It does it work? No. Oh. <laughs> well, Absolutely you keep doing not. it, so maybe no. one day. <laughs> okay, so how are you approaching this race? Are you you've obviously looked at the start list? Yeah. So. Um, I'm just gonna run my own race probably for this one and 
hopefully sit off the leaders because they're going through the 800 and 152. Okay. Which, if you so there's a pacer. If you can't do math, that's 344 for a mile. Okay. Um, that's easy it's work. A world record. Okay. So I don't think I'm in world record shape quite yet. Hey, you never know unless you try, right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow, I guess I'll try. I'll go at 152. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be looking out for that. All right. Introduce yourself to the vlog. Eric Jenkins, Nike Oregon Project. Former, former Oregon Duck. Former Oregon Duck. What are you racing tomorrow? Two mile. Okay, how are you feeling about it? I feel good. It's gonna be um, really fast <laughs> um, against the best guys in the world. So it's, you know, I feel good and I'm excited. Do you have any specific race strategy? I'll just go out there and win, I think. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm Actually, gonna, I've never heard of that one. So I'm gonna go out really hard. I'll probably be not right on the rabbit, but like second off the rabbit. And then uh, just kick really hard. Probably not two, probably like 300. Um, 250 to go. Okay. And then win. Yeah, that's, that seems very straightforward. It's I'm really, excited to watch that. I always have that strategy, though, and it's... <laughs> Does it work? It works sometimes. Yeah. And it also, you know, it doesn't work a lot of times, but I sometimes... I have a feeling it's going to work tomorrow. Sometimes I can't implement it tomorrow. I really think I can implement it. Clayton Murphy, uh, Nike Oregon Project, running the Bowerman Mile uh, on Sunday afternoon. People need to know, what are, what are your PRs? 142, 351, um, Olympic bronze medalist in 2016. Um, I read some article the other day that you, you've, have you never said a cuss word or you don't say cuss words? Uh, I just, I haven't cursed in front of Alberto, I guess. Oh, like I, I cursed, don't know, I, I read something. I just cursed in my lifetime, but Alberto supposedly has never heard me curse, so yeah, so he, that's his uh, claim to me is that he's never heard me curse, so I guess I'll keep it that way maybe as long as I can with him, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've cursed in my lifetime, but it's not in front of Alberto. Michael, introduce yourself to the vlog. I'm Michael Norman, 400 meter spinner for Nike. Used to go to the USC Trojans fight on. Okay. <laughs> um, do you want to throw out some of your PRs slash biggest accolades? Um, I guess my PR on the 400. Or my PR on the 400 is 43.45. <laughs> uh, PR on the 200 is 19.70. Then what are some other fun facts that you know the world needs to know about you? Uh, muscle milk, my favorite drink. Chocolate. Muscle milk? Yeah, it has to be the uh, the chocolate Collegiate Pro series. Yeah, okay. The chocolate one. That's very refrigerated. I think you're the only person I've ever met in my life that has told me they <laughs> liked muscle milk. They drink light. Ah, uh, they're they so good. It better chocolate milk. What? If you had to pick one athlete in the world to go against in the 400, who would it be? Benjamin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's your. I want to race Wade Van Nieker, but only if he's, you know, fit. Yeah, fit and healthy. Yeah, like when he's feeling 100%, I'm feeling 100%. That's my one race. Hey, ladies and gents. Ooh, we just hit three miles. I'm on my own little jogger routine now. Just six miles for the day. You guys know, if you watched my last video, making sure I get to the miles while traveling, decided to do it in the afternoon today. Recapping day one, a lot of interviews. I, this is like my element. I absolutely love doing this. I love interacting with the athletes, seeing old friends. It's really fun and uh, I love just, I'm getting to know more about the athletes too, you know. You guys are learning, I'm learning. And I'm excited to watch the races tomorrow. Eat her. <laughs> oh no. Let's go card. Anyways, I'm gonna put you guys away, but enjoy the rest of the vlog. Introduce yourself, you guys have already been in the vlog, but... Yeah, well, I'm Gabe. <laughs> I'm Nico. There's a bunch of youth people along this stretch of pre, and then obviously we have the track here. Who are you guys most excited to see today? What race are you most excited to watch? The mile. The mile? Okay. What about you? The mile. That's going to be insane. I'm super excited about the mile. I want to see... I also want to see Justin Knight. I think he's in the mile. You got some Bowerman babes. How was the race today? It was good. You know, I think we hoped to maybe be a little closer to the front pack, but when they go out in 253, we know we're not quite ready for that. So um, I mean, we're fit, but we're not fit. Right. Yeah. Like Jerry always says, you want to be appropriately fit. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I think that that's where we are right now. It kind of felt like practice. It felt like us. total practice. She loves working together. I love following. Yeah. What's next for you guys? Back to the mountains tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, tonight. Yeah. Nice. Nice. We've been down to the mountains for more than 48 hours. I had to go back tonight. All right, Allie. How was that race? Is that your first time in league race? Uh, yes. First time racing the Diamond League. Uh, it was a little overwhelming. I was having a 
hard time convincing myself that I belonged here when I was stepping up to the line. But I, I just went out there and I tried to race with them. And I wish that I would have stuck with the path a little bit more. But um, I'm just learning what it feels like to not be in the lead and to be pushed a little bit harder in this typical chase. So I'm excited that I got a competitive race under my belt and now I'll try some more. All right, we're here with Shikari Richardson. How was the race today? The race was good. Um, little tweaks that I know I noticed um, during my race that I have to work on, but other than that, it was an amazing race, amazing competition, amazing energy from the crowd. It was overall, it was, it was a nice race. Good yeah, day. good pro debut? Yes, it was awesome. nice. Awesome. <laughs> All right, we're here with Emma Coburn. Emma, how was the race today? It was good. Um, I got out hard, raced really aggressively, which was my goal. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. You could give one piece of advice to your younger self or any of the high school people watching. What would it be? Life or running? <laughs> I think both running and life. Everything just goes in little tiny steps forward of progress. You you can't be expecting huge leaps of greatness to fall in your lap. Just keep showing up, as Desi Linden said. You know, keep yes, up. yes. Um, keep showing up every day to practice, to work, whatever it is, and just focus on getting better each day. And by a second at a time, don't expect greatness to come overnight and don't give up when it doesn't happen right away and don't give up if there's a setback. Um, I've been in this sport over a decade and have, you know, haven't won many races, but I keep showing up and win the ones that matter and just, compete and I'm not discouraged if I don't win I'm not pissed or um, you know I just try and focus on improving myself just a little bit at a time and I think that's true for running and in life yes we're back with Eric Jenkins Eric how'd the race go today not great um, my first race in a while a tough you know this is kind of like a tough way to, to get back into it yeah but, um, You're just thrown, thrown into throwing, it. Yeah. yeah. Thrown in the deep end. Let's see if I can swim. Yeah. Um, I couldn't swim today. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, is that a new singlet? It is. It looks pretty fresh. I think it's um, an oil slick. Oh. Nice. I don't know if that's. Well, it kind of looks like that. Yeah. So that makes sense. Not very um, environmental and like. <laughs> it looks like a good oil spill in the ocean. And what are you most looking forward to for the rest of the season now, building off of this? Um, I'm probably most looking forward to just getting back into training um, and probably ra just racing a few more times. Like, gotta look forward to the next day. Next, you know, don't just look forward to the races. Look forward to the training. Look forward to the easy days. And that's probably what. So you gotta do. That's what I'm doing. Chess. <laughs> Jessica freaking hole. What's up, girl? How was it? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It just went by so fast. I was like, before I knew it, I had we hit the bell, and then at that 3:50 to go, I was like, okay. Do you have any advice, you know, to all the people who have watched your career? Yeah. Do you have any advice? Like, you have had major improvements over the last couple of years. The people want to know, Jess. They want to know what they need to do to get it done, like you. you just have have fun and you have to not limit yourself and even like you can you can know what you're capable of in training but don't put a number on it like you might your training might say you're in 420 shape and that's gonna still be running 418 one day it's a condition you're there you just that's very true place time just got there with a really open mind and just make the most of the opportunity yes well go ducks <laughs> and good job got little steve here <laughs> oh little steve danny What's up, girl? Hey. How was it out there? Oh, it was rough. <laughs> it's really rough. Um, that's a hell of a way to run your first 15 of the year. So. <laughs> when did you decide to do the 5K at NCAAs? Uh, we were coming off an injury indoors, and just fitness-wise, it made more sense. Yeah. To, uh, to run five, and I really enjoyed doing something different, and now I'm ready to. I took my nose back in the 15. It didn't, yeah. it didn't show, but I will be. All right, Cole Walsh, what's up? How was it? Oh, it was a great time. Uh, you yeah. know, I was hoping my first Prefontaine would be back in Eugene. I know, but, uh, what's up with that? Yeah, quite a bummer, but uh, right, the sun right, was great, you know, here in Stanford, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful track, so I'm happy to be here. And what are you most looking forward to for the next part of the season? I've got one more trip to Europe, but I think I'm most excited for the US Championships this year in the morning. All right, what's the goal? Win. Okay. Uh, yes, I like that attitude. Jenna Prandini, what's up? How's it going? How was that race for you? Um, could have executed a little bit better, but there's good and bad with it. So yeah, it looks like you had a really good start. 
Yeah, I got out well and um, just gotta finish the race. So, I got some time. <laughs> What's the goal for the season? Um, throw down some fast times, make it to Worlds. <laughs> Make it to Worlds is the biggest school and uh, bring home some medals. Yes. Haroon, what's up? How was that? How was, how was the pacing duties? Yeah, oh, it was. Was that pacing? I thought I was running, you know? Yeah. You didn't know. It's good. I mean, I get one now. Hey, uh, ask for free tea. Six, and I won 55 nine, so you know, oh, okay. in the world. Wow, wow. Team, you know? Yeah, so any meet director watching this, um, hire Haroon for pacing duties. All right, what's a fun fact about you? Fun facts about me? Yeah. Well, I have a... Uh, 17 siblings. 17? Yeah. My goodness. I yeah, I was gonna say, can you? I was like, can you name them all? <laughs> Raven, you look tired. <laughs> What's up? How was the race? The race is really well. Um, it's a race that I really push myself for. Um, I really worked hard and I trusted myself. And that's the biggest thing that came out of this race. If you could give one piece of advice to your younger self, what would it be? To really um, keep that same um, hard working ethic. It's going to go somewhere, it's going to pay off. Even when you don't feel like it is, it's going to pay off. So. Alright, here with Devin Allen. Devin, how was the race today? Oh, it was good. My start went well. Um, I was out just a little sloppy and off balance just throughout the race, but pretty overall, honestly, good. It's my fastest opener ever. That's I've seen your tweets. That, yeah, that's uh, kind of how it's supposed what, to be. So, what's the hardest workout? Uh, three by three fifty. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the hardest. I um, usually come through the 300 like 30, 35 seconds. Oh wow, yeah, so. that's very quick. No, that's good. Um, training's going well. You know, feeling good. Starting to taper down now, just for these meets in USA's. Um, the training, of, the training's done really. So now we just got to yeah. get real technical. Start feeling good. Um, and just start running fast. Carissa, what's up, girl? How was it? <laughs> it was tough out there, but. Yeah, I'm excited with the time. I think it's a very good opener. So. Is this your first Diamond League? It is my first Diamond League. Okay, yeah. and how was that experience? Pretty crazy. I mean, just. <laughs> Did you ever expect to get to this level? No, no. Breaking nine was like a huge goal for me, and then now I'm at the level where people are breaking 820. It's kind of like. <laughs> That's okay. a big difference. Yeah. yeah. It's a big mental, like, oh, shock to your system. And if you could give one piece of advice to your former self in life or in running, what um, would it be? Probably just to keep pushing just because you just don't know where you might end up one day and I think just like constantly putting that hard work in and it's really going to pay off and you're not going to get the results right away but over time you'll really see things start to pay off. Craig, Hello. A, little, a, a little, yeah, a little follow-up interview. How did the race go? Oh, uh, it went all right. I got fifth and I ran 351. Yeah. I really wanted to break 350. It's all right. There's always another chance. Yeah. You had a great finish. What I was know. going into I'm your kidding. mind? Yeah, no, yeah, you gotta kidding. claim it. Yeah, yeah. What was going into your mind going 150 meters to go? Oh, I thought I could catch him. Yep. Stupidly, I thought I could catch him. That's not stupid. You one gotta one believe in yourself. You're one of the best guys in the world. Like, you can't leave You him. are, you are one of the best guys in the world. You are the best guy in the world. You have to believe. Fifth, fifth. Yeah, well, fifth today, but. <laughs> You just can't leave guys like that 10 meters. You know? Yeah. That's two seconds. Yeah, so what did you learn for the next race? Just kick earlier. Okay. Probably follow the Britons, whatever they do. <laughs> yeah. Did you win um, the mile indoors? Yes. Okay. How does that give you confidence going into USA's? You have a target on your back now. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Indoors is different because Centro and them weren't in there. So. That's true. You want to, every time you win USA's, you want to beat the best. Yeah. You can actually feel good about yourself. So. Yes. I, I want to race Centro and them and, at USA's. Well, I'm already back in San Diego, California now. It was a quick meet this weekend and I had so much fun getting to know these athletes a little bit more and sharing this with you guys too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of the longer interviews will be posted tomorrow. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in learning more about any specific athlete or just like watching all the full interviews. I literally have so much interview footage from this weekend, but these were just some of my favorite highlights of each interview. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and comment down below who your favorite professional runner is or who your favorite interview was in this video. And the next meet I will be at is actually next week already. It's um, the Sunset Tour in LA. There are gonna be so many fast distance races there. Um, basically everyone's trying to go for the IAAF World Standards. So that's gonna be very exciting and I already have a media pass again so we will get that quality content that everyone likes. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed already and click that notification bell so you guys get notified You know when I post all those interviews tomorrow. And there will be many more of this style videos video to come in the future. I am sure of that. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out fellas.